Graham, a difficult afternoon to say the least. What's uh, what's your reaction? Uh, I think that everything could that could go wrong did go wrong, um, including the, the start and giving them a an opening goal. And then I feel like we defens defensively we were so fragile from that point on. Uh, didn't get close to people. Didn't defend with any kind of intensity, uh, any meaning. Don't forget we played. This is the same team and the same set of tactics that went narrowly against Leeds and beat Charlton midweek. So to say I'm disappointed is the understatement. I mean, they just say that sort of last half of the first half, they just seemed to well, collapse, for want of a better word. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. And uh, I've told them that. Um, the only the only people that I feel sorry for is our supporters who again travelled in the numbers. I need to apologise to them, certainly for for that performance. I don't want to be manager of Luton Town and have to uh, represent that. I've got too much pride in myself. Um, the boys have told me to tell to tell you that they'll take responsibility for the performance today, um, which I thought was big of them. Um, I didn't clap them at the end because I felt so embarrassed with the performance. It doesn't help that you lose Izzy. Now with a hamstring it compounds things and Brendan Galloway's snapped his patella tendon. So to say it's been a bad day at the office is an understatement. Um, clearly supporters were frustrated at half time and at, at the end and would have, I'm sure you probably heard it as you as you walked off what I mean as you've said you would you apologize to them and um, and the players do as well absolutely um, hundred percent I can't uh, I, I can't say any more than that um, I'm I'm as disgusted with the performance as they are I've let the players know that um, we have to do something about it um, and I, I can't I can't say any more and, and how, how do you go about lifting it? I don't know if you've had this sort of thing in your career before as player or coach. I mean, how, how do you go around lifting the mood? Uh, I, I have had this type of thing before. We got a bit 9-1 at Tottenham and we won the next game and we beat Sunderland 1-0 uh, as an assistant. And that's exactly what we have to do now. We can't change what's happened today. Uh, we must uh, make sure that this is never repeated again and we have to go and beat Wigan next week, simple as that. Are some of these mentally scarred from that or would you have to look from outside the, the immediate squad to others in the building because those who have sort of been through this are feeling the effects of it or do they have to man up and get on with it? They have to man up and get on with it, we've protected them enough. They have to take responsibility. They have to take responsibility for their performance in their area. I'll repeat myself, huh? we had the same 11 players with the same tactics in the last three games and we got beat 7-0. So I'll take responsibility, no problem, but everybody does at the club and that's where we are. Thank you. Thank you. Can I touch on the first goal as well, obviously, because it's, it's another defence there, isn't it, for the opening goal? Yeah, I mean, if you want me to play left-back, Mike, I'll play left-back and I'll make sure that I don't take a chance on playing the ball back to me goalkeeper in the first 10 or 15 minutes of the game, would settle into the game fine, shape was working. But within that shape, individuals have to do their job and four goals came from the left-hand side today. So that's a big, big disappointment, especially the level of performance that's been going on in that area. Um, but that's how it is. And you made some changes at half-time, but the, the back four remained. Were you tempted to, to change any of the defence at all? Yeah, I was tempted, but I just wanted to put another two defenders in front. I felt like we were getting hurt in wide areas. We didn't really stop that pass there, first half. And then obviously you lose uh, Brendan, which was typical of the day we had. Um, these days happen now. Huh? It's something I don't want to be a part of again, but now it's how we respond to it. With, with Brendan, I mean, was it an off the ball thing? Is he, has he caught his start in the step? Uh, he's, got, he's had patella tendonitis uh, for a while. Uh, he's been fine, but Whatever happened today, it's ruptured his patella. So that is a serious, serious injury. Lost Izzy to a hamstring, it doesn't really get much worse. Have you seen Izzy? I mean, is that, is that, is that, did you manage to catch that one or do you think that, that's sort of gone the hamstring? Oh, it's gone. He's out. That's, that's a 
that's a proper hamstring tear so it doesn't get any any better the news might is that months or I mean, you know for that one? I, I don't know this we'll have to get them scanned and see how whether it's grade one grade two grade three whatever it is but it's 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 a proper hamstring tear you could see it with his action Jeff, um, any sort of an issue inside as to why the players were sort of standing off in that first period and then going into all I spoke about before the game was repeating levels of performance. I spoke about attitude, being decisive, being aggressive within uh, within <coughs> our f framework, what we've had for the last two games. I feel like we've took ten, uh, we took two steps forward. Now we've took ten steps back. Um, I I made an emphasis on the start of the game because we scored one goal in the first. In the last nine games in the first half, I said it was really important we started aggressive. Uh, I got the opposite effect, James, is the truth. Uh, I think we, we settled into the game quite well, but one action where you've got to go and get close to somebody. and uh, Sorry, that was the second goal. One action where you've got to deal with the ball, and then the second one where you've got to go and get close to people and get in people's boots and don't be easy to beat. That happened too often. Now, as I've said to Mike, if you want me to play left back, I'll try. I'll give you a... I'll give you a, a, an aggressive reaction, that's for sure, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Do you bring the players in for extra training now? I mean, do you, is that going to be a, a really tough week to them on, on the back of that? I haven't considered it, Mike. My whole priority is to beat Wigan now, from this point. Whatever that takes, it might be, it might be freshening them up, it might be bringing them in. I haven't considered it. I've, watched, I've done the game, which was hard enough. My next stop was to come up here with you. I'll have a think now, tonight, speak with my staff and make that decision.